Hey guys, I'm the bird here, and welcome to part two of how to make the best jumper effect in After Effects. Um, I forgot to mention that um, the uh, mask expansion, kind of distorting of the mask, that was Effects Freak. I want to thank him for that. I'm sorry I couldn't mention that in part one, but uh, now I've gotten that off my mind. Let's go on with part two. What we're going to do now is basically create this smoke effect and the camera shake. So we, what we want to do now is um, select comp one for your project, obviously. And want to import the fog footage. Um, I uploaded a link in the description as to where you can download this. Um, download it, import it, and then we can get going. All right. So what we want to do is find the point where you just begin to jump, which is right there. We're going to drag the fog over to start right at that point. Now what we want to do is get to the point just where um, you get right back. We're going to uh, shrink that so that it isn't so long in footage. Yeah, that's about right. And for the mode, for the uh, fog, we're going to make it overlay. This gives it kind of a darker look depending on what you're trying to do. Alright, now go back to the beginning of that fog footage. Right there. Drag it right over the uh, object or person that's jumping. Use the rotate tool. Make it vertical. I'm going to scale it up so it covers a pretty big area of the uh, person. Now with the fog selected, we're going to use the pen tool. We're going to kind of create a mask of the uh, person. It doesn't have to be exact shape, but kind of along the lines. Alright, now what we want to do is go back to Fog, hit F on the keyboard, and bring the feather up to about 36. Because if it were lower, you can kind of see how tacky that is. So, 36 or 35, that's about right. Alright, so now what we want to do is select T on the keyboard, this will bring up the opacity. Go to right about, just about when you're coming back in, but not right at that moment. Make a keyframe, and we're going to decrease the opacity just a little. We're going to go to the end, make it zero. Go back to the beginning, make it zero. Now go to the point where we can actually see the smoke and go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise, and then hit Invert. Now we kind of have this really big smoke effect. Now bring the complexity up to about 7.7 7 or 6. We want to increase the contrast to make it a little darker so that we can see it. And then kind of decrease the brightness just a little. Alright, now depending on your lighting situation, if you see if I uncheck invert, it's a little more grayish. But um, since I'm kind of in a darker room, I want to actually be able to see the smoke, so we'll darken it for now. Alright, now if we go frame by frame, you can see that smoke kind of come up and then fade out. In fact, it's a little short, so I'm going to make that a little longer. That's what she said. Drag these keyframes over. There we go. Alright, now what we want to do is select the fog, go down to transform, make a keyframe for position, go to the end, we want to drag it over to, to, um, towards the direction as to where you're jumping. About right, just a little to the right for me, and up. So now, get that nice fog effect as if it were kind of following your jump. And just to make it a little smoother, if you select those keyframes and hit F, and you hit um, F9, sorry I accidentally paused my screen recorder, but if you hit F9 it'll make them smooth. Um, I can't exactly do it right now, but you can see from this effect that you get that fog effect. Now all we have to do is just kind of repeat that effect for when you're jumping back in. So, if we select fog 5, copy, paste, we want to go to the point just when jumping back in, which is right there, and make the fog move over 
and start right there. Now, go down to the transform and uncheck position. And you want to drag it right over to where you began to jump. Now if we look, the mask is way too big. So what we can do is edit it to kind of um, match the pattern that we had. Or, um, how would you say it? Basically, mask match the person. So I'll speed this up for you guys. Hold on. Okay, now that I have that done, we have the good mask, kind of to where you're jumping in. What we want to do is um, drag the fog right behind where you're coming back in. So right about there. And then for the position, go to the beginning, make a keyframe, go to the end, or one frame before the end and move it towards where you're just coming back in. So if you can look, I kind of stepped in and went forward to the left. So I want to make the fog move over to the left a little. Oops. Um, as you can see, like that. Now if you'll notice, the fog is a little darker. So if I go to the opacity, I can increase it just a little tweak these settings, just kind of so you can really notice it. Um, this part I got from Lumen641, he had some smoke in his effects, so that's kind of where I got it. Alright, now when we go through this, you can see we have all of our effects on the smoke, fog, and um, the ripples, so it's looking really cool now. The only thing we have to do now is add a camera shake, so if we select all this footage, like that, go to layer, pre-compose, we can edit all of it so that we don't have to completely manually edit everything. So go one frame right before you're about to jump. We want to go down to transform, make a keyframe on position, we want to scroll over to just about where the jump, almost where that fog just begins to fade, like right there, and if you hit add keyframe, we'll have another keyframe. Now hold down Alt and click on Position. This brings up the Wiggler, um, you know, so that we can basically this is what's going to give us our camera effect. So change the noise type to Jagged and change the frequency to 17 and the magnitude to 6. Then click Apply. Now After Effects is basically done is shaking the camera for us and give us that nice effect. Now if you'll look, we have kind of these black bars, so increase the scale up to 103%, that looks good. Now if we render it, alright guys, now that we've rendered it, you can see, oops, we get this nice effect just like that. So we can we have a camera shake, our smoke, and everything. Just like that. Alright, thank you guys for watching. You are officially done. Um, I know this took a long time, but like I said, the, um, the end product is just amazing. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to thumbs up, um, favorite it. Uh, this is kind of what I need to you know, get popular and famous and all that stuff so all right thanks for watching um you are officially done i know it took a while but uh the end effect is pretty good if i say so myself um please like favorite and subscribe and i will see you guys next time